Kia ora, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with new stimulus and strong trade growth may spark rate rises. And that's according to Janet Yellen. But first, today's dairy auction has produced some mixed signals, although it is generally positive. The event organisers reported overall prices are 0.7% lower at an average price of $4,162 a tonne. But they reported the previous event average price at $4,110 a tonne. So today's result is actually 1.2% higher than that. This makes more sense when you know that the dominant whole milk powder price rose 0.7% and the also large skim milk powder price rose 2%. Dragging the result lower was butter, and which slumped 12%, and cheddar cheese was down 4.5%. But the relative volume sold of those two are pretty small. Anyway, in New Zealand dollar terms, this has resulted in a dip of just 0.1%. US factory orders for March disappointed. They came in 1.1% higher than for February, and that was much less than analysts had expected. New orders for capital goods actually fell 3.2% on that basis. US Treasury Secretary Yellen commented overnight that inflation could well rise as a result of the Biden recovery and stimulus programs. Rates may have to rise to prevent overheating, she said. She is no lightweight and markets took notice. Meanwhile, she plans to borrow an extra $1.3 trillion over the next two quarters as federal spending picks up under those recovery plans. In the EU, the cost of carbon is racing higher, now above 50 euros a tonne, that's 84 New Zealand dollars. For comparison, the New Zealand price is currently at $37 a tonne. International trade is recovering strongly. The Baltic Dry Index, as a measure of demand for ships for trade, is now above the 3,000 index level. Global air cargo volumes reached an all-time high in March amid an improving macroeconomic backdrop. Globally, domestic air travel is recovering, especially in China, but international travel is still in the doldrums. The Reserve Bank of Australia kept its policy settings unchanged at its monthly review late yesterday, but it did upgrade its growth forecast to 4.75% over 2021. That's up from 3.5% in its February statement. US Treasury 10-year yield starts today at 1.58% and it's down three basis points overnight as the slide by equities bolsters the price for bonds. And the price of gold starts today at $1,778 an ounce. That's down $14 since this time yesterday and giving up most of Tuesday's jump. And oil prices are up by 50 cents today at just on $65 a barrel in the US, while the international Brent price is up a bit more to just under $68.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar opens today at 71.4 US cents. That's down almost three quarters of a cent since this time yesterday. Against the Australian dollar with little change at 92.7 Australian cents, and against the euro, we're down to 59.4 euro cents. That means our trade weighted index is now at 73.4. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.